Hello there, and welcome to the War Factory for today, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Oh, God. I have been waiting for like a year just so I could drop that one again. I, I love it. May the 4th be with you. Anyways, you know where I'm going with this. Um, by the way, is this thing on? I don't know. It's been so long. How do I work this thing? What am I doing? Why am I here? I'm having a senior's moment. Okay, back. Uh, so, obviously, attack number one. Dumping a whole bunch of energy because, well, I've, I've got the energy. Now, if you can't pull off as much, that's okay. Just do it in order. Uh, honestly, these boom lines that I'm taking out right here, they can be left. They're only going to take out, like, one Zooka. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Make sure you take out that rocket launcher, though. It is actually a thing, and it will make your life just that much easier um and then also I, I was just like wow i have a really awkward amount of energy left and not a lot to do with it so i'm going to incite the dog into being a bugger and blow up a cannon just for the fun of it why not it's one last thing that'll be shooting at me i don't know why not so i uh, i use up the last of my energy and I close this attack down, start up a new one, wham! This time we're actually landing troops. And where we're landing is right on the beach. <laughs> I know, right? Like, you didn't see that one coming. Um, now, I kind of dropped them out and I left a bit of a gap on purpose because I wanted to throw the extra smoke in there. I didn't, however, realize that I would be screwing it up so badly so, you know, it put that third smoke down in line so it covers your Zooka landing. And then ultimately you want to flare up to pretty much right where I dropped my flare there. Now, from here it's really nice because it's two really easy shocks. It shocks everything. Your, your Zookas will flash burn down the, uh, the prototypes and the, sh or, sorry, the shock launchers and some of the prototypes. Um, and then, obviously, if you can time it to let the Hot Pockets come out, blow up the Hot Pockets. But honestly, if you don't take out the Hot Pockets, it's okay. The, the Hot Pocket killing is really just a bonus thing. It's not mandatory. The big important part is you take out those Shock Launchers and you take out the Shock Blasters. Because things that shock are bad, okay? Um, now, reload your troops. Attack number three, drop your troops down. Obviously, um, the smokes can be a little more crazy time with this landing because there's no more uh, really scary things hitting the beach. It's all single target, which is fantastic. I'll totally lose a, a Zooka or two for a nice easy landing. And then my dog will find quite possibly the squeakiest, noisiest, and most annoying toy that he possibly can because... He's a dog, and that's what he does. So, uh, walk your walk your Zookas up into the shelled out region, and then two shocks. You know, throw throw some extra uh, critters around. Now, I did mess up. Uh, I thought I would be out of range of the rocket launcher. Obviously, I'm not. So maybe an extra shock, or maybe some critters up against the HQ, and you'll be fine. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.